All right, what's up, guys? It is June 3rd, Saturday morning. It is 4.15 in the morning. I've been up for an hour, um, which is nuts. About to go to the airport, board a flight to Houston, Texas, because we are going to the summer shredding finale. So pumped, so pumped to meet people, uh, athletes, just super pumped. So, since it is four in the morning, I have made, as you can see, some coffee here. Gonna be my little jump start driving, and then when I get to the airport, I'll probably have another cup of coffee. But I am going to see you guys there. What's up, guys? I made it to the airport, about to board on the plane right now. And I will see you in Houston. Houston, we have landed. We are in Houston, waiting for the Uber, and I'm gonna see you guys in the hotel. Made it to the hotel. Holy shit! 100% honest, I was not, had zero, zero with a line through it expectation of uh, of getting in my hotel room at whatever time it is. What time is it? 8:38. So 8:30, they had my room ready, and I was only supposed to stay here one night, which is tonight. So check-ins were not till three. They got me at 8:30. Drury, Drury, Drury Inn and Suites. You guys are on point. You guys are awesome. I love it. Uh, still in time for breakfast. I only had a protein cookie today from my protein. Um, so I'm a little hungry and a little coffee. Uh, gonna get a little more protein, but just trying to fill up on some carbs since uh, now the reverse diet has started. And uh, yeah, reverse diet, now the reverse diet has started. Uh, we're gonna get to work with some carbs and boosting that metabolism back up. All right, and since I haven't gave you guys an update, um, I know I didn't really go too much with YouTube. Um, when it came to my summer shredding and everything like that. Um, but I'll give you guys a little update. So uh, basically I started summer shredding at 155.4, I believe. Um, it was 90 days. In that 90 days, I did go on a cruise. The cruise was actually planned. Uh, it was planned way before I had any plans to cut. My original plans were just to kind of just moderately, intuitively eat maintenance-ish level calories for the summer. So that way I just keep my metabolism up and uh, trying to gain a little muscle, but most of all, just enjoy the summer, have fun. Um, wanted to do a lot of traveling this summer, which I'm off to a pretty decent start with. Um, so I didn't really have any intentions to cut anyway, but Christian uh, put out the summer shredding challenge, and I was like, hey, you know what? It's a great challenge for my, myself, mentally, physically. Um, I'm just gonna do it, even though I just came off a cut um, like eight months ago. So my metabolism is a little shot, but we're uh, basically, we're gonna build it back up with some reverse dieting, uh, but, so I started summer shredding at 155. I am now uh, at 147. Uh, even was my was my end weight. And uh, within that time, I went on a cruise for uh, for five days, six days, five nights. Um, like I said, it was planned way before. So and I didn't want to like be like that bro diet or whatever that was on the cruise eating like healthy. And uh, I had a drink package. We drank alcohol. Uh, we ate a bunch of food. I probably ate too much food. I uh, didn't drink a whole lot of water, so like my nutrition levels were pretty low. I hit the gym a couple times, but nothing, uh, nothing too serious. And uh, so I definitely took a hit with that. So when I, I gained uh, with probably water weight and everything, I ended up being 15 pounds when I got back on that Saturday. So I was at 162 um, from when I, before I left for the cruise. Uh, so anyway, I cut way back down and started implementing some uh, more strict uh, dieting measures, like a lot more cardio. Um, way more intense training sessions, and then also I'd really drop those calories way down to get to, um, not. I didn't really have a goal physique for this one, but for what that would have been, that's what I got to. So I'm gonna give you guys a little physique update now. I also started uh, my reverse diet yesterday. Uh, with I didn't really track my macros, but I just intuitively ate. So this isn't my last, my final form, but I did post a picture on Instagram and uh, you can see my transformation for my 90 days. Uh, technically, it was like technically it was like 82 days or something, 87 days because of my, my cruise venture. But anyway, I had a blast on that, so I don't regret it at all. But anyway, so here's my current physique. He said, overall, I'm not too upset with it. I know when I looked, I know when I looked at my uh, when I compared the pictures, I was. I looked like way skinnier than than what I did in my head, you know, like 
I mean, I'd look in the mirror and you get that, that dieter's block, that dieter's brain where you're just like, man, like, I need to lose this, need to lose that. But when I see my pictures, uh, when I woke up flat as a pancake, I felt very skinny, I felt very small. So uh, to say I'm excited to put eat some more food, put on some weight, um, is an understatement. So I'm ready for that. But anyway, just wanted to give you guys a little update. I'm going to put my shirt back on now because this is not needed. All right, so I'm gonna go downstairs, uh, get the breakfast <laughs> that's still going on because I just got here and uh, I'm a little tired. Might have a little bit of caffeine hit, coffee, whatever. And uh, then I'm gonna Uber over to the Alphalete gym and see what all the hype's about. About to be at the event. Um, it's gonna be a blast. All right, so I made it to Alphalete. Well, kinda, I'm walking down the road, sidewalk. This place is lined with cars, dude. There's so many damn people here. Tons of people. But I'll let you know when I get in. Alright guys, at Alphabet Gym, it is fucking crazy here. I'm just over here in the corner eating these fucking tacos. I just want to show you guys, I just want to show you guys basically what I got. Uh, they just had some street tacos here and they look amazing, so I'm about to dig in. And I'll show you once I get inside because it is super packed. Super packed right now. This is insane. Open eye for the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight, can't make calls collide. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight, dripping light. I knew I was gonna have a blast at this event, but I mean, it was it was more than that, really. Um, I mean, seeing so many people gather for the same reason, like-minded individuals gather for the same reason to share this passion we all have for fitness is is incredible, um, and it's incredible that a movement like Alpha Leaf uh, can can bring people like that together. I mean, everyone's all over the nation, all over the world, for that matter. I was unable to talk to Christian today. Uh, but I mean, I can't even, words can't even describe to begin to think, thank him for, for everything he did. I mean, he bought like 2,000 donuts for from Shipley's, like, which were amazing by the way. Brought in like, Bounce House and Dunk Tank, gave away a bunch of stuff, and Ghost was there, and like, oh my god, like everyone was, had free range at the gym, like, it, it was insane, it was, it was energy like I've never felt before, like, like not even it's far greater than the energy you feel at a, a regular fit expo it was one of the most amazing th times i've ever had um, i was able to connect with a lot of people that i've connected with through instagram and social media but i've never actually been able to meet them and shake their hand um, and then i met a whole lot of other people too so i mean it was this is probably one of the best experiences i've ever been a part of and i really cannot thank christian enough um, or any of the athletes enough for actually making it happen. Never would I have thought that a clothing company 
could have such a powerful impact on people in their lives. Um, it's definitely made a powerful impact on mine. Uh, just by following Christian um, through the summer shredding. Uh, summer shredding to me uh, it means not just like getting cut and lean and getting a great physique, uh, but I mean it's it's about pushing pushing that mental limit and pushing your physical limits as well. It, I mean it teaches you consistency and discipline and if you if you want something you gotta work for it. It all comes down to how bad you want it. So basically I was a sponge today. I soaked in as much information as humanly possible. Advice, tips, experiences, what's worked for other people. A lot of these clips I didn't really I didn't really talk and I didn't really blog too much. It was just some some raw clips here and there, um, and basically that was the whole point of it. I didn't want to like walk around with a camera in my face, literally take in as much as I possibly could with it. It was it was a very very good experience for me. Ah, sorry, just jumped in the shower. I was like, I just remembered how like how much I was sweating there today, and it was gross. And I being there today kind of just made me feel like like really any, anything that you put your mind to is possible. Really, how hard you're willing to work at it. I want to succeed as bad as I want to breathe. With that, I'm probably going to stay up and edit a little bit. But like always, thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment below if you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up, please. And if you are not already, hit that subscribe button. You will not regret it. Some great content coming. Also, I am committing myself to weekly uploads. I said it, so I got to do it. It's going down. But... Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.